There is no dark side of the moon. Or is there? By looking at free NASA data, we can figure out if the dark side of the moon really exists and what it could possibly look like. So you'll often hear the phrase the dark side of the moon, and to some it might refer to the Pink Floyd album of the 70s of the same name, or even the lyrics of the song Brain Damage. And if the dam breaks open many years too soon, and if there is no room upon the hill, and if your head explodes with dark forebodings too, I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. Or if you're a millennial, Lil Wayne released a song last year featuring Nicki Minaj. The sky is falling, intergalactical, intergalactical love. And I'll be waiting for you, for you, for you, on the dark side of the moon. I said I'll be waiting for you, for you, on the dark side of the moon. Or maybe you read in the news of the Chinese that recently landed on the dark side of the moon, and doing all kinds of experiments and stuff, and growing plants and whatnot. There really is no dark side of the moon. So where does this phrase come from? Well, it should be common knowledge, but if you didn't know, the same side of the moon always faces the earth. The moon is still spinning on its axis. The earth is still spinning on its axis. The moon is still spinning around the earth. And this is all still spinning around the sun. So how come with all this spinning, the same side of the moon can still face the earth? Tidal locking. Tidal locking, also called gravitational locking or captured rotation, occurs when the long-term interaction between a pair of co-orbiting astronomical bodies drives the rotation rate of at least one of them into the state where there is no more net transfer of angular momentum between this body, example a planet, and its orbit around the second body. This condition of no net transfer, blah, blah, blah. If you want to read all this, I'll put a link in the description below to the Wikipedia page. You can just pause the video and go read it up. So what is the simple explanation of tidal locking? The simplest way I can imagine this in layman's terms is Effectively, the pull of the Earth on the Moon is so strong, it is enough to bulge the one side of the Moon towards the Earth, locking them together. Imagine the Earth being a soccer ball with a strong magnet on the inside, and the Moon being a balloon with a strong magnet on its inside. If the pull is strong enough, they will pull together. The side of the Moon, because it's much smaller and lighter, it'll bulge towards the Earth, locking them together. And no matter how the Earth and the Moon rotates, the same side of the Moon will always face the Earth. Where it takes the Earth around 24 hours to rotate once on its axis, it takes the Moon about 27 days to rotate once on its axis, while simultaneously obviously orbiting the Earth. This is the origin of the word Moon. It should be called Moon. Not month, Moon. Who left out a note? By the way, if you know near which crater the Apollo 11 astronauts landed their lunar module, they actually strolled over to it to have a look at what's going on there. Leave your answer in the comment section below. I'll give you a clue. Uh, it's the opposite of big, and it's one of the directions on the compass. So because of tidal locking, the same side of the moon will always face the Earth. But does this mean that the other side of the moon is always dark? Think about it. Think harder. Ever heard of a total solar eclipse? You know, when the moon moves in between the sun and the earth, and the moon actually casts a shadow on the earth? So, if the same side of the moon is always facing earth, and the sun is now on the other side of that, how can there be a dark side of the moon? Figured it out yet? There you go. There is no dark side of the moon. The correct term is the far side of the moon. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah? Underwhelming, isn't it? This was the first photo ever taken by the Lunar 3 probe in 1959. Here's the updated version. This video and image was made possible by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, the LRO. You can find some pretty cool stuff on NASA's website. I'll put a link in the description below. There is, however, dark spots on the Moon. The inside of the Shackleton Crater, for example, on the Moon's South Pole, 
have not seen sunshine in over 2 billion years. So the next time someone talks about the dark side of the moon, ask them if they also believe in the flat earth theory and that space is a hoax and we never went to the moon to begin with. No, don't do that. Just point them to this video. So this is a new channel and I need your assistance with what video topic I should figure out next. Do you want more space stuff or do you want some aviation stuff or some other engineering stuff? Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll try and get to it as soon as I possibly can if it's interesting enough, of course. I don't want to be boring. If you have learned anything today and you think that I've earned your subscription, please go and subscribe at the bottom and also hit that bell button so when I upload a new video you know exactly when. Thumbs up and share if you think people might find this interesting. You can find links to my other social media accounts in the description below. Hit them up and let me know what you're up to. Cheers for ears.